we are setting in the heart of the Potomac Highlands. We're a good three miles from civilization in a straight shot. It's several more miles if you're trying to get there by road. Um, this is our destination for the series. So it's a long way to hike if we're just hiking. Didn't really have a, a whole lot of time to be hiking, so use the ATV to get up here. Well, the reason that we're here is because a couple months ago, I was at work and some idiot showed me a video proof of Sasquatch. Right here in the Potomac Highlands, I've been coming up here since I was a little kid. And I've seen lots of things. I've seen deer, I've seen squirrels, I've seen fox, I've seen bobcat, I've seen coyotes, I've seen mountain lion. Actually, right here on this ridge, I've seen mountain lion. But I've seen evidence of bear. I've heard accounts of bear, black bear. I've seen turkeys, I've seen pheasant, I've seen quail, I've seen eagles, I've seen all matter of wildlife. Never seen nor heard of a Sasquatch. I think it's pretty ridiculous. But, not only have I not been up here in a while, but there's areas that I haven't been up here. I don't know. Maybe there is a Sasquatch. But that's why we're here. That's why I'm wearing this shirt. That's right. We're up here to see if we can find Sasquatch. So this is a GPS picture of the location that we're currently at. We are actually right here, that little speck there. So we're going to leave here and travel around this road back to where we were. And then we're going to keep going. And we're going to go two ridges over. So this ridge right here, and we're going to travel over to this ridge. <clears throat> so I've got both this ridge and this ridge blown up in these maps over here. So we're going to follow this road out here and it's going to go around back here in this valley and then back out. And that'll take us around this ridge. We'll look around up here. I believe there's a road that connects from down here to up here. As you can see, there's another road up here. But we're going to follow this around this ridge and this road comes back here and then it'll come out here out to this ridge. Now this, this is our destination right here. So let's head that way right now. So I just stopped here by where this uh, there's a spring up the, the ridge here and it comes down the road here out through that culvert there and down down the mountain. There's this little family of uh, chipmunks or something because they're running around up the hill here and running over here and down off the mountain here. Probably scared most of them off by now. But there are lots of them right here in this area. There's got to be some sort of massive den somewhere let's see it's two o'clock right now i got a lot of work to get done before it gets dark so let's go do it so uh coming up through here 
kind of ran into a roadblock. Because I had to get through this mess. And they were all standing in the middle of the road. So across the road in front of us, right before where we're ending at, there's a tree. And this could be a bit dangerous. So it looks like it snapped off down there. And it's caught up in a tree up there. So the road comes out right to here, just like it does in all these valleys. And it ends at this creek, this stream that runs down the mountain here. This is probably the best, uh, the fullest stream that's up in this area. This is why I picked this spot. Water is important out here when you don't have any. At one time there used to be fish in this. This used to, this used to be uh, a lot fuller than it is. But we're right on the edge of uh, private property. You can see the fence line comes right through here. So I'm gonna scout out this area a bit more. See if I can find a place to where I'm gonna set up camp. That squirrel's not happy. He's basically letting everything know. Then <laughs> a hundred mile radius that I'm here. If I stayed here, I wouldn't see anything. If I was hungry, I'd be eating him. I don't know you guys, maybe you can tell I call it the Potomac Highlands. We got about an hour left to sunlight. Looks like I found a, a camp for the night. It's gonna be right here by this tree. It's an interesting little spot. We're kind of secluded by brush all the way around. I think I got enough wood here for a fire tonight. I gotta get my shelter up and I gotta get the area cleared. I gotta get firewood. I gotta get this done now. It's about a quarter to nine now. I got camp all set up. Spent the last hour, I think, uh, processing firewood for the fire. Uh, it's not, I don't really think I'll need it for warmth tonight. Uh, probably be in the upper 40s, lower 50s tonight. Listen to a local football game. I can pick up a local radio station because the antenna's up on the mountain over here. I haven't heard much tonight in terms of anything really. A couple owls over that way. Uh, towards the north from here. I did see a rabbit down below the camp that I set up. Getting pretty hungry, so I'm going to start the fire soon. I didn't want to start too soon because I didn't want to run out. I didn't want to run out of firewood. They want to be out here uh, hunting Sasquatch by myself. Doesn't sound safe, does it? Here's our fire. I'm going to keep it that small. So I've got this firewood here. Should be enough to last me tonight and uh, tomorrow. Into tomorrow, tomorrow morning for breakfast. I'll need a fire for breakfast. So we're having Backpackers Pantry chicken with gravy dressing and potatoes. You gotta wait till this dies down a little bit. Then we'll start boiling our water. <laughs> 